Hello and welcome to WEEP instructional videos. My name is Stephanie and today we'll be learning to make WEEP calculations faster by turning off certain results. In front of you, you can see a model of the Guatapuri watershed in Colombia. This model has many catchments. It has a reservoir and a flow requirement, which I've added for this video, and several demand sites as well. To calculate the results, it takes a long time. So I can do a few things to make this easier on WEEP by requiring it to look at less information and produce less information. The first thing I'll do is go to the area menu and go to manage scenarios. And I have four different scenarios looking into the future until 2050, but it's possible that I don't actually need to look at all of them right now. Maybe I've already decided that this scenario isn't worthwhile. So I could go and click on it, and down here there's an option where it says show results for this scenario, which you can uncheck to reduce calculation time. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now I won't see any of those results when I compare the different scenarios in the results view. Another thing I can do is go up into edit and results variable, and then select variables to save. Now here, I have basically what looks like my data tree, and it shows that there are 131 results that we will produce. Now I could say select none of them, and actually we'll see that 28 remain. That's because some of them are really important. These ones have asterisks next to them, so you can't deselect them. Also, say that we're looking at catchments. Right now, I've deselected my glacier information here. But my model has glaciers. So if I go to run these results, Weep's going to tell me, you need to model these. And it will turn them on so that it can do the calculations correctly. So there's some variables that really have to be included and Weep will help you identify them. You'll also get an error if you try to delete variables that you reference within the model itself. So let's cancel this. And I'm going to go into my flow requirement, edit data, and we can see that the minimum flow requirement for my stream flow gauge actually references the previous time step value for April of another result. So let's go and open that up in our expression builder. And here we can see that it's referencing the storage volume of the reservoir that's slightly upstream. So you also can't turn off those results because your weep model won't be able to use them as data as you've plugged in. But this does give you a lot of flexibility about what results you want to look at and it can save you time and disk space. This has been a weep instructional video. Good luck with your model.